guys, it's me, Burn. So for this video, as you can see, I'm already in my room, but then my room makeover is not yet finished. So I decided to just make a tutorial. And for this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create a page on a WordPress using a, a theme called Calias. Yes. And before I head on with the tutorial, why don't you click on the subscribe button so you won't be missing any of my upcoming tutorials on WordPress, SEO, and everything that I know. So, let's start. Alright, so for this tutorial, I've already drafted a page. And if you are using Kalia's theme, you will just have to click on the Edit with Design Builder. And then, you want to start with a clean page. So, you have to delete all the defaults like the sidebars. And if uh, there's already a section, you just have to delete them. So once you have deleted the default columns, you can start adding your section. So just click on the small arrow at the left side and then search for a section. And once you've found the section, just drag it on the page. And then once you already have the section, now it's time that you can add your heading, your text, your images, something like that. So there I have my section already. So I make sure that it's 12 by 12 when it comes to the column size. And then instead of using heading, I am using the title element to add my heading. So that's it. Just have to drag the title element on the section that you've already put. And then you will see that there's a button for hide element, save, edit, clone, and move. So to edit the text, you just have to click the edit option. I mean the edit button. And then there's an option if you want the alignment to be center, right, or left. So let's uh, use the title tutorial and the subtitle step-by-step -step guide. So that you can see how it will look once I say I uh, once I hit the save button, and then you may want to click on the font settings tab, and then um, you can choose what font you like. So for me, um, let's use this one, and then for the font size, you just um, input the size that you want, and don't forget to put the px after the number and then for the height I use I always add at least two on my font size for the um, line height and then you can choose the color of the font that you want to use and there's also a section where you can edit the font and the font size and the line height of your subtitle and then once you are done with the font size and the line height and you are contented with how it looks like, you just have to click on the save button and then we'll see what happened to the title element. So there it is. Now we've made a heading. And now let's add another um Thing. And for that, since we already have a section, we want to add a column and I'll be using the smart container. And then, as you can see, I want this space to be in two columns. So I'm going to be changing the size of the columns by 6 by 12. And then, once I already have that, I, I will just flow in that column so I will have two equal size columns. There you have it. And then for the left side, let's just add an image. So for the element bar, you just have to search for image. And then once the image button shown, just drag it on your page. And then like what we did on the Title element, you just have to click the edit button and then select the image you want to be used. So, for the image, I want to use this, of course. 
my picture. There you have it. And then you just click insert and then save and close. Then wait for the image to appear. So there's the image. And then for the right side, I want to add a text. So you just have to search for text and then drag it on the column and again click on the edit button and replace the default text so for now let's just use a generic one sample text for the tutorial alright so I'll just um, copy paste it so we can have something that look, look, looks like a paragraph okay and then once you're done with your text you just again you just have to click on the save button don't forget to hit the save button so whatever you do it will be saved and it will be shown on your page and then there you have it so that's how you add a text in a column or in a, on a page and then let's add a, another image so yes um, I decided to add a smart container and then I'll be another I'll be adding another image so search for the image And then just just drag it on the page. So for this image, I will be using a rectangular shaped image so that it can fill the space. So there, it's like a banner. And then again, you can add a URL for your image. So that when they click on the image, it will be right there.
there it is i hope you learned a thing or two from this tutorial and if you want to um see more of my tutorial videos don't forget to again don't forget to click the subscribe button and i'll see you in my next one bye